Hey hey, it's your Techie Dude here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you could fix the Valorant error code 43 and all of the possible solutions that I have compiled that could possibly help you fix this problem. So without further ado, let's get started. First, take note that there is no guarantee which particular solution will possibly or could possibly work out for you, so I suggest that for you to try them one by one. So to start off, the simplest way to fix this problem for some people is to simply run the game or the Valorant launcher as administrator. So go ahead and go to our desktop and go ahead and simply locate the Valorant shortcut file on your desktop if you have one and just simply right click the Valorant launcher and hit the um, run as administrator option. Take note that you must have administrative privileges on your Windows account for you to be able to launch the game as administrator. Otherwise, it might ask you to enter some credentials for you to run the game as administrator. Go ahead and try signing in the game and uh, see if that would fix your problem. Another fix for this problem is to set the VGC service to automatic or make sure that the service is running. To do so, let's go back again to our desktop and we can now just go ahead and close first this Valorant launcher and then open up the start menu and type in here services.msc. Make sure to right click the services app and make sure to run it as administrator. And then locate the VGC service by scrolling down and you'll be able to see here the VGC service. Simply right click the VGC service and hit the properties option. You'll be able to see here the startup type and simply set it to automatic and hit the start button right here. Once done, hit the apply button and okay. You're gonna go ahead and close this um, window and just simply go ahead and try launching the game. And again, make sure to run it as administrator. And hopefully that would fix the Valorant error code 43 on your end. However, if that still didn't work, we can try checking whether the VGC service is properly loading up upon startup using the MS config tool on Windows. So to do so, let's go back again to our desktop and you can I go ahead and close this window first and go to the start menu and type in here MS config. And then you'll be able to see here the system configuration app. You simply right click the system configuration app and hit the run as administrator. And then go to the services tab and you'll be able to see here again the VGC service. And uh, make sure that it is checked right here. Sometimes it gets unchecked right here which causes this issue on the game. So just simply tick this checkbox right here and hit the apply button and OK. And then go ahead and proceed with the restart on your computer. However, I will not restart my computer since I'm recording this video right now. So go ahead and I'm just going to close this window and hopefully that would fix your problem. You can check upon restarting your computer, you simply right click again the shortcut file on your desktop and click the run as administrator. And hopefully again that would fix the problem or the error code 43 on your Valorant game. However, if that still didn't work for you, another possible solution is to delete the right client private settings.yaml file on the local app data folder. To do so, simply go to our desktop and then close this window first again and open up a Windows Explorer and type on the address bar percentage local app data percentage and hit the enter button and then locate the uh, right games folder and you'll be able to see here the right games folder open it up and go to the right client go ahead and open up the data folder and you'll be able to see here the right client private settings.yaml file what we can do here is we could delete this file or just simply rename it to um, yaml.old file if you're prompted with this kind of message just simply hit the yes button and then go ahead and try launching the game by right clicking on your desktop shortcut and making sure that you run it as administrator and again hopefully that would fix your problem if that still didn't work for you the last resort is to reinstall the right vanguard anti-cheat system and to do so simply go to our start menu and then type in here control panel and then open up your control panel app and go to the programs Click on the uninstall a program under the programs and features. Once you are already on this window, just simply locate the right Vanguard um, app and just simply hit the uninstall button. And we can now go ahead and close first this launcher and hit this um, yes button right here. 
and just conduct a refresh just to check if uh, whether or not the um, Riot Vanguard has been successfully uninstalled already. And now that we cannot see the uh, app on the apps list on the programs and features, we can now go ahead and close this window. And then go ahead and relaunch your Valorant launcher by right clicking again and click on the run as administrator and it will proceed and reinstall the dependencies of the Riot Vanguard anti-cheat system and it will ask you to restart your computer. So after installing the Riot Vanguard dependencies, you can now go ahead and restart your computer. So once the installation is done, it will ask you to restart your computer. And before we restart our computer, we can now go ahead and close this launcher first and go back again on the start menu and open up the services that MSC app and right click it as we did a while before and click on the run as administrator. And then again, locate the VGC service and just simply right click on the VGC service and click on the properties. And again, make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and hit the apply button and start the VGC service. Once done, hit the OK button and close this window. And now you could restart your computer and see if that would fix your problem. And if any of these solutions did work for you, I would appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up and also comment your feedbacks down below whether or not this worked out for you. And if you want to get more tech videos, smack that subscribe button now. Till then, see you in my next videos.